हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन सेज इन फिगर टू लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट वायर्स आर परपेंडिकुलर टू द पेज एंड सेपरेटेड बाय अ डिस्टेंस डी वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सेंटीमीटर वायर वन कैरीज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव एम्पियर इन टू द पेज वट आर द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन इन टू और आउट ऑफ द पेज ऑफ करंट इन वायर टू इफ द नेट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू द टू करेंट इन इज जीरो एट पॉइंट पी लोकेटेड एट अ डिस्टेंस डी टू इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम वायर टू एंड द सेकेंड पार्ट इफ द करंट इन द वायर टू इज रिवर्स देन वट आर द साइज एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ द नेट फील्ड एट पॉइंट पी सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन वी मस्ट फर्स्ट रिवाइज द की कंसेप्ट ऑन विच द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड so the key concept behind this question are the first key concept is the current uh, the direction of magnetic field around a wire is given by right hand thumb rule so what does right hand thumb rule say it says that if we align the thumb of our right hand uh, in the direction of the current in a wire then the direction of curl of our fingers gives the direction of magnetic field around that wire okay now uh, the second key concept behind this question is the magnetic field at a point at a distance d from a wire having current i is given by b is equal to mu not i upon 2 pi into d where d is the distance of point from the current i wire and i is the current in wire so keeping these two key concepts in mind let us find the solution for this question so for solution part what do we have so at point p what can we write we can write at point p there is a magnetic field in this direction due to wire one it can be written as b1 this direction can be found out uh as the wire uh, in wire 1 the current is into the page and by right hand thumb rule we can find that uh, no this is not the direction let me correct it the direction will come out to be in this direction it will be b1 let us denote it as b1 now to cancel it d2 must be equal to in this direction and uh, equal to the magnitude so uh, b2 must be equal to b1 in this direction now how can we find b2 so b1 we have to find b1 is equal to mu not into i1 the current in 1 is given by 6.5 ampere so it would be 6.5 upon 2 pi into d the distance between wire 1 and uh, particle p is d1 plus d2 which is 0.75 plus 2.5 so it is equal to mu not upon 2 pi sorry mu not upon 2 pi into 6.5 upon 3.25 it is equal to 2 into mu not upon 2 pi let us uh, keep it as such it will help us in the further uh, calculations okay we can uh, we should not make uh, them more complex now b2 must be equal to b1 in magnitude and from here we can write that uh, mu not upon 2 pi into i2 over d2 must be equal to mu not upon 2 pi into 2 which we have found out here okay into 2 so from here mu not upon 2 pi gets cancelled and i2 upon d2 comes out to be equal to 2 from here i2 comes out to be equal to 2 d2 and d2 value we have we have been given that uh, d2 is given at to us as uh, 2.5 so it is 2.5 cm okay so it will be equal to 5 amp so i2 is have been found out as 5 ampere now let us find now let us find its direction so as uh, b2 must be in this direction so by right hand thumb rule the current must in the wire 2 must be 
uh, out of the page so we can write that direction of b uh, sorry i2 it is i2 is out of plane of theta so this is the answer now for the second part if the current uh, in the wire 2 is then reversed what are the size and the direction of the net field at point p so if the uh, direction is reversed then the di direction of i2 will be out uh, inside the plane of paper so if it is in inside the plane of paper then b1 is in this direction and b2 will also be in this direction so net magnetic field will be b1 plus b2 so we can find out b1 plus b2 will be equal to 2 into mu naught upon 2 pi into 2 this was the uh, this was the value of b1 and b2 was equal to b1 so this is the final value and this comes out to be equal to 4 uh, into 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 so it is equal to 8 into 10 to the power minus 7 tesla so this is the final value the magnitude of magnetic field at uh, p after uh, the current is reversed in uh, the wire 2 and we can uh, say that its direction will be in left direction so let this is the final answer let us highlight it here let us also highlight the previous answers so i2 was found out to be 5 ampere and its direction was found out to be out of plane of paper and the direction of direction of magnetic field is also a solution so let us also write it here so direction of b1 plus b2 in second part is towards left of p so this is also a part of solution so let us also highlight it here so this was all about this solution i hope you understood it well thank you